Hello, everybody. This is Chroma's Girl 018, and I've got a uh, new play let's play going, and also a a guest to this. Hello, everybody. It's great. It's great. Yeah, again. I'm Gray Lace. Hello. I also wasn't paying <laughs> when you started. I'm like, oh crap! I have so many other windows open. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, uh, we were going to do Skyrim, but we were having a bit of problems with it, so that's going to have to wait for a bit. So instead, we decided to try something different. Yeah, we're going to we're, we're gonna co- let's play this uh, visual novel here. One that I've had waiting in the wings, and I, just, I, I, I told you before, but I was like, I'm just, just going to wait for it to go on sale. I'm just going to wait for it to go on sale. And it broke it went, never went on sale. Oh, no, it never has. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we are going to try this and see how it goes. He obviously can't hear anything, but thankfully this one is, you can turn off the voice acting. So mm. we can always read the voices. And besides, those voices are in Korean, so we wouldn't be able to understand a word they're saying anyway. Oh, it's not that bad. It's just like watching a K-drama. <laughs> True. Even though I haven't really watched one of those, except probably a little bit of the Flower Boys or something. I don't know what it was. Boys over flowers? I there guess. Are flowers over boys or whatever I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen really any Korean dramas, so... Why do I know more of this? <laughs> I, I feel so ashamed. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, we're going to start a new game. If we can't figure out who we're going to end up uh, going for, because you got to pick that, you need to pick that ahead of time. I was going to say, because uh, if I've learned anything from my storied history of visual novels you need to commit early and commit hard yeah because if you don't you're gonna get a bad ending obviously because if you try and be nice to well, all the not, guys it's gonna, it's not bad well not bad not a bad bad ending but you won't it's get any the, of the guys it's the alone ending <laughs> well not technically there is one guy i think there's one guy you can be with if you get the so-called bad ending yeah and if the game does have harem endings it's usually kind of creepy yeah, this one I don't think has a harem ending, so... Thank goodness. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started with this. I think I had to pronounce Boosin. Boosin? I have no idea. When I first so we, uh, what? We're supposed to be in Korea, right? Yeah, I assume. Well, there's, I, the I see there's Korean so signs. Yeah, because the person is apparently from Seoul when they moved to Boosin. I have no idea where that is. Neither do I. <laughs> Oh, that's the that's the benefit of having a co-pilot. I'll see if it's a real place. Okay. When I first came here, everything was so unfamiliar. I lived only in Seoul for 18 years, so I was worried whether I'd be able to adapt. At first, I had a hard time understanding the dialect, and I'd often ask people to repeat themselves a number of times. It's been three and a half years since I came here, but Busan dialect is still hard to follow. I came to attend a college in Boston from Seoul. Sometimes people ask me why I didn't choose to attend a college in Seoul. Unlike me, there are many people in Boston who want to go to Seoul. But unlike them, I no longer wanted to stay in Seoul. And here comes a flashback. Sounds dark. Yep. I couldn't stand my life in Seoul with Mom, who had completely changed after she and Dad got a divorce. And some of the, uh, the, vo the words in here are kind of strange because, of the, I guess, because of the... English translation, so some of the stuff is kind of weird. It's been three and a half years since I became independent from my mother. I guess it's my mother right there. Yeah, okay. I still led the same suffocating lifestyle I had in Seoul. A senior majoring in business, an okay TOEIC score, and a slightly higher than average school grades. Or, in slightly higher than average school grades. I came to Busan to find my dream. But I still have no idea. What do I want to do in life? I came to boost him with that question, but I still haven't been able to find an answer. I've been living here for three and a half years already. I think we already established that. No, it's, fine. it's already it's repetitive with a bunch of stuff. Boosin has its big ocean and old buildings. Though people may be a bit rough, they are kind. And I I have five precious animals in my life that were on my heart. Oh, dear. That's way too many pets. How could you pot? She's a struggling business major. She can't take possibly take care of five animals. I'm just going to let that play while we talk. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. This is kind of... Have you ever played Dr. Tony Boyfriend? Uh, I think 
Sorry, what now? There's a there's a dating sim where you date, literally date the animals. Hang on, I'm gonna skip that. Yes, there is a I, dating. There is a visual novel where you uh, are a human dating birds. I think it's weird. Oh wait, oh, oh yeah, I played that. Yeah, this is basically like the, the a pigeon horror. one. Yeah, it's basically like that, except in this one they actually get human forms instead of just getting a brief picture of what they would look like as humans. Yeah, I was gonna say they give me a. Oh, and that's Hotful boyfriend. Yeah, however you pronounce it, that's basically Hotiful. what this game. Except it's. <laughs> uh, All right, so I looked up stuff. If you want to give me, or if you want to let me, like tell some of the, the things we didn't know. Okay. So Busan is a city. It it looked on the map like a fairly large city. It is on the clear other side of Korea. So Seoul's sort of near like the northwestern edge of Korea, Busan's in the southeastern edge. Ah, so basically they're on the opposite sides of the country. Basically. Okay. And it it does it, it's the second largest city after Seoul, so uh, ah. like it doesn't seem like that much of a culture change, maybe slightly. I'm getting weird mess who's messaging me? Oh. The someone who I'm not sure is a real person or not. <laughs> is messaging me on Skype, and I I checked out the T O I or the T O E I C test. I'm guessing it's some kind of English test or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't find what it stands for. Uh, it it seems to be for like English skills for uh. It, it's some sort of English test for people Korea. living abroad. Oh, okay. Possibly Korea. It's it's put on by ETS, which is an American testing agency. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I opened the door and saw a familiar living room. It's been four years since I moved out of my parent out from my parents' house, and I would have picked the Seduce Me game to do this, but that has actually good voice acting, and I would like to have had you hear it. So, ah, uh. so that's why I didn't pick that one. Anyway, it's been four years since I moved from my parents' house. When I come back to an empty house with no one to welcome me, I don't feel like doing anything. I should just have a light meal, wash up, and go to bed. Really? You just got home? Oh, wait a minute. What? It's probably late where she got home, so... Probably. My days are always busy. I wake up early to go to school and go to the art club room after class. When I come home, I clean up the house and do laundry, then I do my school assignments. Shouldn't you do your school assignments first and then do the housework? No, it's fine. <laughs> well, normally I would get that done first, because that needs to be done, cause, and the housework can just wait. And when the hectic weekdays are over and the weekend comes around, I meet up with my friends for lunch and head to the English cram school. The word busy has become a way of life for me. Your life really doesn't sound that bad. Hmm, <laughs> true. Then again, she's probably not telling us everything yet. Well, I'm busy. I guess. I have to go to the cram school. I have to impress the professors. I have to get an A-plus in this class. She has to get A-plus in all her classes. She's pushing herself way too much is basically what it's saying to try and impress her mother. Mm, that, never, that never works out well. Nope. No, it doesn't. I always make sure that all my school assignments are done perfectly and turn them in by the deadline. And I actively participate in the school's art club. And despite my busy schedule... I make sure to invest some of my time to study English in order... Yeah, that, that, yeah, that is. That's what it is. That's what that uh, test thing is. Yeah, I, I assume, like, her dream is to... Well, I guess almost any business major, for some reason, has to learn English because... True. I don't, I don't know. I blame imperialism, personally. <laughs> anyway, in order to raise my TOEIC score, which I, we still don't know what that means. Some people no, tell me no that idea. I live my life to the fullest. <laughs> I always thank them, but hearing that doesn't really make me happy. Tomorrow should be another busy day. I have a morning for the classes, and I should study at the library during lunch. And then class again, and I'll probably go to the art club room to work on my paintings. Dark room. The same old every day. When I die down on the bed, many thoughts occur to me. I live such a busy life. In others' eyes, my life is probably full of activ activities that are useful and helpful. But why? Why do I not feel alive? There are many people in Korea who lead a life similar to mine, and there are certainly those whose lives are even busier and more stressful. 
But unlike me, they are proud of the fact that they're busy and enthusiastically plan out their lives. Oh boy, there's her mother. <laughs> you can only tell us by looking at her that she's really stern and... Apparently a label whore. <laughs> I don't know what label that is or what it's supposed if to be. If I recall be. correctly from watching other people's playthrough, I think it's Chanel or something. Is it? I have no I, idea. I just, I'm just guessing. That's what they said I, anyway. I wouldn't know. I'll do, I'll do this voice. You didn't even get in the top five in your class. Sp sending you to an expensive cram school doesn't even help you at all. Study harder. This isn't enough. If you take a break when everyone else does, you'll just end up being one of them. I don't know what you're talented at. I just don't know now. The painful memories of my past are suffocating me. I can't get rid of the cold expression on Mom's face from my thoughts. The expression which seems to say, only your report card represents your value. Which is not a very good attitude, to be honest. No, it's not. I can still vividly remember Mom's face when she told me that I was no use because my grades weren't good enough. Yeah, that is not a good attitude to have towards your child. No. You want, you want them to succeed, but don't push them like that. No, cr crushing their dreams is not good motivation to have them succeed. Uh-uh. I agree. <laughs> but still, I am living the life as I did when I was with Mom, which is not a good thing to do. It's not as stressful <laughs> as it was in Seoul. But even when I am still leading a busy life, I have no idea why I'm here and why I'm doing these things. I want to attend to a co I went to attend. See, this is where the this is where the translation kind of acts iffy. I went to attend to a college outside of Seoul and joined an art club. That was kind of weird. Oh, that's fine. I have friends who aren't really friends, and I struggle to get an A plus in all my classes. None of these are what I wanted. In fact, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I have no idea what I'm working so hard for. How can I find my calling? How can I learn to enjoy what I do? Apparently through dating pets. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I, it it's it's weird if you keep in mind that the whole game the premise of the game is on dating your pets. I know, it's so weird. No one taught me those things. I mean, I know weirder games that have similar themes, but yeah, like Hotful Boyfriend, for example. Oh, I was going to say Nekopara. What's that? I, well, it's a game where you start like a cafe and there's cat people, because why wouldn't there be cat people? But the thing I didn't realize before I bought it and started playing it all the way through is uh, it's technically an M game, but the Steam versions is, are always edited. Uh, and it was really, really atrocious. <laughs> It's, it was it was like, oh, it's my, it's my cute little like cafe sim game, and then oh oh god oh oh, oh dear <laughs> oh I didn't want this even it in like the Steam edited version they just like left out some of the like creepy scenes or the creepy panels, but the lead oh, in and thing. lead out were the same. It was just really it was really weird. I felt really bad playing it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, before we go any further, we need to figure out who we're going for. If any of you guys have actually played this game, you'll know what I mean. Just put in the comments below, or whatever, what who you want think I should go for in this playthrough. I, to be honest, before I started this, I've already gone through, completed the playthrough for Jiwoo and Jiyeon, one of the cats. Don't ask me. <laughs> anyway, I've already completed those two, and I still haven't compl haven't uh, completed the others. I haven't even gone through the little white rabbit yet. So, well, isn't the little white rabbit the long haired guy? No, that's the, that's the big silver rabbit. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> the little white rabbit is the youngest, apparently. Okay. I think it said he's like a middle slash high schooler, which I think is really creepy, considering I think that ca our character's at least twenty one. Uh, it sounded like our character was like. 20, 22, 23? Yeah, because in one of the scenes she drinks a beer, so it's obviously she's got to be at least 21. No, well, she's in Korea. I think it's 18. Oh. Well, then, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know anymore. <laughs> I just assumed it, it might, it might be beer. It might be 20. I know it's not 21. Okay, I think that's probably just in America and probably other places. It's almost exclusively in America that ah. 21 is the age for drinking. Ah, okay. I, I think I, I only know for sure Japan is 20 and I believe Japan also consolidates like when you can start driving as 20 as well. 
Dang, they got a higher age for driving than America does. Yeah, but I, I think it goes along the lines of, like, that that's the age you're considered legally an adult, and that's ah. when you can... A lot of the restrictions that are, happen at different ages in the U.S. just happen at 20. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I could be lying. You could, but, uh, uh, could be mis- uh, mistaken, but we'll figure that. They don't, we'll figure that out at some point. Yeah. Anyway, whoever you want us to go for in this playthrough, because you had to pick that early on and commit to it before. Because if you don't, you get a bad. If you don't pick who you're going to go for, you're going to get gonna, a, bad, a so-called bad ending. We're going to be alone, or <laughs> possibly just all our pets are going to stay as pets. I have no idea. I haven't done a bad them. ending yet. <laughs> I kind of want to do a bad ending now. <laughs> Heck, we could always do multiple, multiple playthroughs of this and try and get all the guys. That's true. Because that's why I think I'm going to do with some of my other games. Like with the Seduce Me game, I'm going to do multiple playthroughs of that and show off all the roots. Once I get to that, I'm... Also, when I uh, end up finishing each of my games, I'm not going to get another game to go through like I have been. I got like three games going so far for Let's Plays. I'm thinking I'm going to just keep mm-hmm. going until I only have one going at, at a time. Because I don't Seems have very re- many games. Yeah, you also have really ambitious projects, like Mass, the, like the Mass Effect series and Dragon Age. Well, like I said, once I finish Dragon Age Origins, I'm gonna stop, not going any further with uh, the Let's Plays on that one until I finish Mass Effect One, the fi- and then I'm gonna go to the Final Fantasy game, and then once I finish those, I'm gonna find another game to do, mm. and just keep doing that. That way, I don't. That way, I can stretch out my games as much as I can. Okay. That seems fair. Okay, let's continue on with this. Uh, do you want right. to do this one? This is the uh, creepy wizard guy. I don't want to. Okay, sure. It's <laughs> like I don't want to be the creepy wizard. Oh, I don't think I could do a very good but, creepy voice, to be honest. I just God. Uh, let me think. <laughs> I don't. I don't like doing voices. I always forget what they were. <laughs> yes, I ended up coming here again. This is a creepy wizard. I don't remember a creepy wizard from the demo. Are you are you lying to me? No, this is the guy who brings the animals, and apparently he is an unlockable uh, romance option if you uh, rom- get to romance all the guys. If you go through oh. all the guys' roots. Oh, the true path. I see. Well, not really a true path. But I think it's an extra or something. Yeah, I, I just... don't know. That's apparently what I've heard anyway. <laughs> I just don't, I just always call those kinds of things the true path because of uh, like nine nine nine. I think was my first experience with it. Or to or nine nine nine, it was legit though. To actually beat the game, you had to go through like every other uh, route and do something special in that route, and then it would affect the affect your replay. Ah, and that's actually what happens in the Stanley Parable as well. Whatever you do in one playthrough will affect can affect your other playthroughs down the line. Really? Apparently, that's what uh, I've heard on that game anyway. Anyway, this is uh, this is you. The pink is the apparently the guy, the guy who is the creepy wizard because I've seen the creepy wizard, and oh. the guy is basically obsessed with our character. Her, her actually her name is He Jung, I think that's what it is. We don't get to name our character yeah. though, but her name is He Jung. Oh, He's apparently thought... obsessed with her. Apparently, from what I heard, get it in the other two <laughs> rounds I completed. Uh, good good times. All right, I'm sure you don't remember me. I'm not gonna do a creepy boy. That's fine. <laughs> If I were to meet you once more, I would not let you go as I did before. <laughs> yeah, that does sound a bit creepy. That's my normal voice. How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about your voice. I'm talking about the lines. I would do anything to have uh, have a chance to meet you again. The lines themselves are creepy. I, I can't wait to see you soon, my heroine. Dot, dot, dot. Mm. <laughs> Okay, the uh, red lines are uh, for the black cat, the orange lines are for the orange cat, the dark blue lines are for the silver-haired rabbit, the green ones are for the spotted rabbit, and the light blue are for the little white rabbit. It's just on Sony, just so you know, for later. Uh, Alright, do you, do you want to split it up now? or? Well, if we want to, we can. So we can have that figured out now. Okay. Now, uh, which do you think you could do? The uh, white rabbit is the youngest, which is the light blue li- uh, lines. I, I kind of want to lean towards me just doing the rabbits, because cats are the devil. 
Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind. Okay, the, like just so you know, the green rab is really snobbish and rude. All right. Or the green lines are really the spotted rabbit is really uh ro snobbish and rude. Just so you know. That that's fine with me. Meow. Huh? <laughs> what woke me up was not the alarm that set for seven, but the sound of a cat. No way. I don't even own a cat. I must have been really tired yesterday. I remember going to bed last night without taking a shower and felt a bit grossed out. And my hair felt oily too. I should get up and take a shower. I looked at the wall to see the time. It's 6.36. Meow. <laughs> huh? What was that? Hey, I don't <laughs> get to do rabbit noises. <laughs> Sadly, the rabbits don't actually have noises, but they do have what they have lines later on when they're alone. Yeah, no, I know. I closed my the eyes and opened them again. Meow. I'd be super worried about this. <laughs> meow, meow. This isn't the dream. There was a big basket next to my bed, and inside that basket, cats and rabbits? What? Who? And they're somehow How? together. The animals? Who brought them into my room? Wait! Wait, before that, who broke into the house? Yeah. Someone must have come into the house when I was sleeping. <laughs> the windows are locked. How could someone have come in? I scanned the room quickly, but no, saw no sign of intrusion. I must call the police. Oh, uh, wait. First, the animals. Oh, no. How many of them are there? Two cats and three rabbits. A total of five. Good. What am I supposed to do with five animals? Uh, no, no. I must regain my, my composure. I should call the police first. These animals don't belong to me. Hello? Is this the police? Someone broke into my house and abandoned some animals here. <laughs> yes, things that disappeared? Huh? Oh, I don't think anything's stolen. Everything's left untouched and the windows are locked. <laughs> the tone of the police officer over the phone suddenly changed. Yeah, he someone broke into my house and gave me stuff? <laughs> uh, ma'am, what, what, what's your problem? <laughs> is that, is that a bad thing? Excuse me? Yes, I live alone. <laughs> no, I'm the only one with the key. No, this isn't a prank! <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened. I just woke up and found a basket next to my bed with five animals inside. I was telling the truth, but the officer wouldn't believe me. If this isn't a prank, ask your neighbors or something. Wait! <laughs> I desperately tried to stop the officer from hanging up. Can you at least take the animal care of the animals? Someone definitely abandoned them. I turned to look at the animals. All five of them were staring at me. Why, why are they looking at me like that? <laughs> yes, yes, the address is... Come to think of it, it's a bit strange that rabbits and cats are sitting together so peacefully. Are cats this well behaved? No. <laughs> tomorrow? The police officer told me that people from the animal shelter can't come until tomorrow. But that means I have to take care of them today. He wouldn't even believe the fact that someone had broken in. It seemed that no one would come for an investigation. Asking, in, asking the police to believe me is not something I can do easily. And I don't have the courage to plead them with him either. Yes, thank you, sir. <sighs> someone surely came into the house. What on earth is going on? I went over to where the basket was. And I get to just click on the animals to siege one of them. I can't click on this guy until last for some reason. Because he's the he's the sexy one. <laughs> look, look at his pose right there. He's I just, know! He's, 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 it's like he's in a hot tub. <laughs> I like this little guy. He's the cutest. But when I went for him first, oh, his, his root just definitely kind of was not what I expected. Ooh, do tell. I'm not telling because that's going to be uh, for whenever we do end up doing this, his root. I'm going to show off each root mm -hmm. at some point. The kitten with bright orange fur was looking at me with sparkling eyes. Look how sparkly his eyes are. He's so cute. He's a real cutie pie. Sure. Sure, sure he, but he is. is. But he is cute. No, he's he, he's staring at me. He's the devil. He knows that I'm allergic to him. <laughs> that's what those eyes mean. Okay, let's check out the spotted rabbit. The brown spotted rabbit. He seems a little different from the rest of the animals. He's trying to keep a distance from them in their small basket. He doesn't look like a Korean breed. And how would you know what a... Oh, wait, wait, what am I saying? They live in Korea. Yeah. Then again, <laughs> I don't think she's had pets, so she probably wouldn't know. They're Korean breeds of rabbits? Sorry. The small white baby rabbit was sitting right next to the bigger one as if he's scared. Is that a mom and her baby? 
but their colors are different. They're also both boys, but true. she doesn't know that now. Yeah, true. The smaller rabbit was as white as snow. They're also not the same breed. True. The big <laughs> rabbit was calmly staring at me. The color of his fur. It's silver. Wait, silver rabbit? Is this some sort of extinct species? <laughs> yeah, because I don't think their silver rabbit rabbits exist. I, I have no idea. It doesn't look that silver to me. It looks very gray. True. The black cat looks ill-tempered. The rest of them are cute. This cat doesn't look that cute. No, he's got a sexy pose. <laughs> they kept staring he's got at me a as if sexy it has something to say. Pose. <laughs> I'm hungry. Ah! What? What was that? The cat just talked. Am I hearing things? No, I'm sure I heard it. Meow. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I heard something. I glared at, at the black cat. Meow. The black cat stared back. Maybe I really am hearing things. <sighs> I sighed. I must be really tired if that's the case. I should at least feed the animals. They will be with me until tomorrow. I was surprised, but the animals are probably even more surprised. They must have felt really nervous to wake up in the morning and find that they are abandoned by their owner in an unfamiliar place. As I headed to the living room, the black cat jumped over the basket and followed me behind. The orange kitten, silver rabbit, white rabbit, and spotted rabbit followed as well. Here, eat this. I put in some bread and lettuce in a large salad bowl and put it down on the floor. Can cats eat bread? Uh, no. I don't think it's... I don't think you should feed it to rabbits either. Okay, then she must not have very much food in her thing at the time to feed them that. Let's hope so. Well, cats are obligate carnivores. I mean, they can eat some grains, but uh, I think it just works as fiber for them. Yeah, because I know that rabbits can eat the lettuce. I just didn't think the cats could eat the bread. I don't think cats can eat lettuce either. <laughs> like... Well, I figured that they could eat all vegetables, but then again, I could be wrong. I never had a rabbit. Oh, rabbits! Ra rabbits should be able to eat. Uh, should be able to eat lettuce, I think. Well, then I assume that she probably doesn't have very much food in her fridge that the, ca well, the animals I, can eat, which is why I, I assume that she put that there. I enjoy the wonderful little tidbit of I didn't own a rabbit, but my roommate did. That uh, you usually want to put the food dish for rabbits near their like near the bathroom because kind of <laughs> they go <laughs> they their like, business afterwards. <laughs> Well, no, like, they need to eat to push stuff through their intestines, kind of. So it's just a better idea ah. to, well, to she keep doesn't, it, like, litter box. Well, she no, probably she would, she wouldn't know what to do to take care of pets because she's never had a pet. So. These are also magic rabbits, so maybe they don't have that same problem. Maybe, I don't know. I also put some cereal in a small bowl for myself and poured milk into it. When was the last time I had a decent meal? I'm always spacing out while eating my cereal's breakfast, but the animals perked me up this morning. Meow. Huh? What? I looked up and spotted the black cat inside the salad bowl along with the food. Did he just fall in the salad bowl while eating? <laughs> Meow. He looks so silly. <laughs> I laughed at how silly he looks. I was expecting, like, don't you laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, let me check the time. I don't even know how long we've been doing this, to be honest. Uh, I think it's been maybe like 15, 20 minutes since the last episode end. Okay, let's just do a little bit longer and then we can end this episode off. Okay. Ah, when was the last time that I laughed like this? Daddy, Daddy, I made this donut with Mommy! <laughs> Mommy told me the donut is pretty. Maybe I should open up a donut shop when I grow up. You want to do the dad? Because he's not going to be doing much in this. Sure, sure honey. You <laughs> do well on anything you do. I can't sound authoritative. <laughs> I'm not going to accept that. Uh, by the way, what's the time? 7.40? Wait, that oh, mom made a donut with her daughter? Made her so excited? <laughs> That's probably uh, what she was remembering, and then her mother jumped in from the present that she remembered how if she had done that before, uh, her mother wouldn't Oh, know. that's fair. <laughs> Oh no, I'm going to be late for class. The hectic morning classes are all over. I can't even remember what I learned in class today. 
I always take perfect notes and never miss anything that the professors say. But I was worried about the animals at home. And also, I was bothered by my messy hair and makeup, which I hurriedly put on before coming to school. Since you're in a hurry, anyway. I went to the restroom to straighten myself up, and then headed to the art club room. Hi, guys! Oh, you want to do him? He's going to be the... He's actually the so-called bad ending, apparently. He's the bad ending? Apparently. <laughs> the, nerd, the nerd guy. Wow. Wow, Korea. <laughs> yeah, apparently. If you can't right. get... If you're nice to all the animals, basically, apparently you... He asks you out at some point, and you end up saying yes. Is basically what that bad ending is. It's the bad ending. <laughs> that's that's just insulting. But hey, hey, John. As I opened the door and greeted everyone, a guy sitting in front of a canvas smiled at me. <sighs> <laughs> is, is something wrong? What's with the sighing? I can't. It's okay. I'm sorry. I can't. You don't have to do a nerd voice or anything. <laughs> AJ asked me with a concerned well, I'm look a nerd, on his face. So my voice is a nerd voice. <laughs> His name is TJ Kim. He's a junior, and we're in the same club, and they even go to the same cram school together. TJ, are you interested in raising pets by any chance? Huh? Why do you suddenly ask? I have to get rid of the animals so I can go back to a normal life. If you want to, just let me know. What do you like better, rabbits or cats? It's not that I don't like animals, but I have allergies. I don't think I can. This is basically me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking when I first when I remembered that. <laughs> it's basically just me. PJ shook his head. Why must he have every single allergy that exists? Because he's a nerd. That's why. <laughs> anyway, who on earth is who on earth left those animals in my room? I'm already busy preparing for my graduation. But why do you ask if you, if I want pets all of a sudden? Someone left five animals in my house. What? Really? Yeah, they broke into my room. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I said he's the bad ending, because he, he secretly likes you. Of course he does. He just sprung to his feet. Is is that even possible? No, no. wait, are you alright? Yeah, I called the police and people from the animal shelter will come tomorrow to pick them up. No, n no, I mean, did that person steal anything or do anything to... That's the weird part. The house is fine. There's nothing stolen and no open doors or windows. And you're okay, too. I'm fine. Then this, mu this must be what people call a perfect... Oh, crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's a little hard to read. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not so sure. It doesn't make any sense. It's like magic. Hmm. This should be the eighth unexplained mystery of the world. Oh, really? Someone leaving animals in a person's house, not, yeah. breaking, not having any trace of it. <laughs> I don't know what he's referring to. <laughs> no clue. Ooh. By the way, what are they, puppies? Three rabbits and two cats. Rabbits and cats together? <laughs> yeah, and they're all different. One of the rabbits is silver and another is spotted. The third one is white and he's still a baby. He's small and cute. Silver? There, if there is such a thing as a silver rabbit... Maybe someone died it. It's a moon rabbit. Well, I don't think so. Anyway, he's really unique. One of the cats is bright orange and he has huge eyes and looks really cuddly. Another one's black, but he is not that cute. Is the orange cat a stalker? Just no. The <laughs> orange cat it, is a bit of a weird. orange cat is a bit of a. Mm, I wouldn't say he's like a. I wouldn't say he's like a pervert. Oh, okay. Well, then again. Uh and some of the scenes when you go to, like, take a bath or something, he'll pop up. Oh, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? I mean, that's what I'd do if I was a kid. <laughs> Alright, I see. Wow. Anyway, who would be so heartless to throw away five animals at once? And rabbits and cats together, too. I know. There aren't many people who raise cats and rabbits together. So what are you going to do with them? Send them to an animal shelter? Yeah, I can't raise them. Someone else will adopt them, I'm sure. Who would adopt rabbits and cats? People usually prefer dogs, don't they? Wow. <laughs> Come to think of it. Diehard dog per- this, ba this is me. This is just me. <laughs> cats are usually considered as bad luck in Korea, and therefore not popular as pets. And it's also not common for rabbits to be adopted from shelters. That's weird. I know. And if they're not adopted, 
don't they usually euthanize them? I heard that's the case for more than half of the abandoned animals. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Euthanize? But those little oh. animals have done nothing wrong. I don't particularly like animals, but I never understood this. They are put to sleep just because they are abandoned? What rights do we humans have to do beside that? It's better than starving to death. True. I can feel myself getting sad. There's, still, there's no justice. But you can't take care of all of them by yourself. A point I made before this. <laughs> Damn you, AJ. Or EJ. You are just me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't help it. <laughs> EJ's right. Being as busy as I already am, I don't have time to take care of animals. I graduate next semester, and I have to be ready to find employment. Anyway, I wonder who left those an animals in your room. I hope someone nice adopts them at the shelter. Really? Who left those animals in my room? The strange thing is that there's no sign of any intrusion in my room. One thing's for sure is that someone did indeed break into leave those animals in my room. But every, everything was left unchanged, and since I live on the fifth floor, it's impossible for someone to come through the window. Well, not technically impossible, unless you have a, if you have a ladder. If the door was locked properly. This is really weird. Okay, nope, I think... By me. <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay, I think we could probably end this part off here. And continue on later. Because I could always save it any time, I think. Sure. Yeah, I. <laughs> that's always good to have an original novel. Yeah. I'm playing one where it doesn't allow that. Well, that stinks. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Anyway, uh, next time we are going to continue on with this visual novel and find out what is going Hopefully find out a little bit of what's going on and figure out what to do with these animals. See you guys next time. Bye.